Dummy switch part. Yes, sir. the boys are back. How are you, Chris? Yes, yes, yes. We're back. Uh, I'm I'm comfortable, Curtis. I'm comfortable. How are you? You know, you see, the thing is, I would normally I would normally introduce us as the Dan Carters of podcasting, but you see, I don't know if that's too if I'm rubbing salt hmm. in the wound there. If I'm rubbing too much salt in the wound. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I think uh, just a little bit, but uh, you know, we owe them that. Uh, you know, you gotta let them know. We gotta let them know. Yeah, and of course, of course, we're talking about the <laughs> thirty thirty five five win. Was it or thirty thirty five win? Uh, uh, thirty five seven. Thirty five seven. Mm. Oh, thirty five seven. seven. Over the All Blacks seven. this weekend. Mm. Uh, it's before more than we twenty four seven, we do thirty five seven. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Before we get into it, church and church announcements. Uh, we're on Spotify. You can listen to us there. We're on Apple Podcasts. You can find us there. Last week we asked for a no no excuses win. Yeah. And it seems yeah. as though the other team now has excuses. Yeah, hey, they've got many excuses. Um, all of a sudden, you know, um, for a team that has been, you know, renowned for uh, facing adversity and being able to solve problems in game and come out on the other side, you know, it's just this time around, it's it's not their time, you know, and you you have to you have to credit the box, you know, for yeah for 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 for, for, for giving them what was due. I think this is a performance that was supposed to be due last year uh, to the All Blacks, you know. And 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 we didn't give that to them, you know. So I think it's been a long time coming for us and for this group, you know. They've shown that they can do it and do it again and again, you know. Yeah, this is it's a statement game, especially on the yeah. eve of the biggest tournament. This is this is yes. it, you know. They caught yeah. us cold the first twenty last time. Now we were the ones catching them cold, you know. The the the, the deaths. The debts have been paid. But like I yeah. say, excuses. The first excuse was, you know, it was it was a 6-2 split initially. Quaka comes in for Vili, Vili injured, so now it's a 7-1 split. That that was the first complaint. Ah, the riches of Africa. The riches, <laughs> the riches of Africa. You know, they 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 that's the thing. The thing is, is that uh, no matter what they try and do, you know, in terms of they can complain about, oh, no, it's basically a whole forward pack, whatever, whatever. It's the resources that we have, and it's within the laws, you know? So, yeah, you know, what, what else do they got at the end of the day? At the end of the day, the guys have got to go out there and play. You know, it's not a problem when South Africa is, is losing, you know? Yeah. So so why must it be a problem when we're winning, you know? It's 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 okay. It's about time. And the Springboks must own it to say, yeah. You know, we 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 set the trend. You know, New Zealand is only going to get better because of South Africa, just how it's always been. You know, so they must just accept that. I mean, even themselves, they went for a bit of a bomb squad themselves, a six-two split. Yeah, but as we see, they've got more complaints about it. The second complaint was obviously about the mall. You know, a lot of the tries that were scored were from malls or more variations. Now it's it's a thing of you must. You know, there's always been that conversation of the mall must be taken away. Now it's, it's yeah. you know, <sighs> no, they must leave the mall alone because you know they negated our mall. You know, Ellis Park last year they did it. Um, on to, what is it where where they played this year? Uh, in New Zealand, you know, in New Zealand we, we, we were able to contact that. You saw that, um, Jason Ryan influenced the Crusaders, uh, former Crusaders forwards coach. You know. Uh, the box simply just learned their lessons. You, you know, yeah. I think at the end of the day, they learned their lessons in terms of selection, number one, because yeah. previously in terms of the balance, in terms of the starting eight, that uh, there wasn't uh, uh, sort of stability there. And we saw that, you know, but this time around, they learned their lesson. They showed they that. Learned they learned their lessons perfectly because, yeah. you know, the thing is, you look at Kwaka coming on, he yes. had a terrible game the last time. Oh, I thought he had a terrible game. You no, know, there was yeah. that thing of, yeah, no, in the second half, he was good. We don't need our starting six to be good in the second half. We need him to be good yes. from the first minute. Thank you. So, exactly how you say we've learned our lessons. Last yeah. last time we were caught cold, this time we were the ones, we were playing them in their own 22 for, it, <laughs> I don't know, the, the, the large part of that game. 
last part of that game, and I think you know, it's that it's that mentality. Uh, I think for me, more than anything, you know, I think, and it's what we were talking about last week, is that that mentality of saying, you know, we're going to put these guys away. And for me, that was more like, you know, just like a set performance to say, hey, you know, <laughs> we're here. You, you, you know what I mean? We're here. We can do this. They locked them in their 22, you know, and they just kept keeping them in the grinder, you know, and it was more a patience game to say, no, we're going to keep coming. We're not, we, yeah. at the end of the, we're not going to let you play, you know. Uh, number one, we don't want you to have the ball, you know, and if you're going to have the ball, you don't have it where you want it. You know, and yeah. and 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 that's what it was. Uh, and and look, you can only be happy with that performance from the box. And yes, you can say you know more of a full full performance, eighty performance for the box in re- in 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 recent times, especially against the All Blacks. But at the same time, you also have to be honest and say it wasn't necessarily the best box game in terms of opportunities taken. You know, that was yeah. more about that mindset and pressure. You know, and being able to put the foot on the throat, keep it there. When they try to remove it, you put it back. You know, yeah. to say no, this is the pressure that we're putting you under. You know, and 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 you're only as good as opposition allows you to be. And I think you know, the box didn't allow the All Blacks any 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 chance. If you want to talk again, going back to what you said about lessons learned, Kwaka starting didn't work. Came off the bench, did excellent off the bench. Lobok. Mm. His lesson learned was was from last week. It wasn't from the last game against the All Blacks. Hundred percent kicking. Yes, you know, hundred percent kicking, and 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 you just see him growing. As we've been saying, you know, he's been given the keys. They must keep giving him the keys because he's growing. He's marshalling. Yeah, you know, he's barking out orders. I think even there, that 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 Quacha, Quacha try. You know, I don't know if I'm lip reading Afrikaans right, but you know, it looked to me like he was saying on set hell. You know, so we, we, it looks. He, yeah, to me, he he's growing in that confidence, and yeah. and and we keep on backing. And his cheek, he was told to live up because yeah. that cross kick, hey, he's naughty that guy, you know. And and but it shows that confidence to say no. We are also ballers, you know, and we've got the ballers. And when we get it right, you know, or, or, or when we when we at least have that bit of momentum, and and also when we have the referees interpreting the law. Uh, particularly around the ball, but also just from a breakdown perspective, you know, where it's not, it wasn't necessarily a free for all, you know. So, yeah, uh, I, I, I think in that aspect, in the box, I've got that momentum, you know, and the backs now, that evolution that we had been calling for since I don't know when, you know, we're starting to see that coming to the fore, you know, where there's that variation on attack as well. So, yeah, look, you can't, you can't really complain. Even you talk, you, even that evolution, the two centers that we had, it's not typically the type of center partnership that we're used to. You see, Esther Hazen, Esther Hazen himself. I think I won't lie, I've, I've, I've been thoroughly impressed. I wasn't, I wasn't familiar with his game. No. I didn't know that he had, you know, no. the soft touches, the soft skills. No. You saw, you know, even you talk about being cheeky when you just put in that little, little dink through for himself i mean he was running yeah. over guys you know he's a dynamic player you know again damien jalendi i saw on social media you know one or two things about him i i i can't fault jalendi i think he in the same way mm. that how people talk about creel's defense i think jalendi is a is a, is is a very big part of that that defensive yes. system and he, he's yeah. really been working hard the past few games but in terms of that evolution of the bot game and 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 the new dynamic Esther yeah. Hazen is that. It, it, the, this this is also the Moody game. We we forgot to to mention this is the Moody game. Moody at thirty yeah. again. That's that's mm. an evolution of attack. The way the way that he plays and it's you saw that one around the back pass. Yes, you saw the transferring um, picking, of pressure. You know, yeah, picking because. picking you on his pockets and uh, oh. almost going through for the for that for a B two man goal. But that that's also what I want to say in terms of Jesse Creel. He doesn't have that kind of attack on him. That's the difference that we're talking about. You know, when it turns up when in terms of a center that's attacking based, you can see yeah. Lukanyo Am doing that. You can see Moody doing that. So yeah. I, I I suppose it's horses for courses. It's yeah. it's you know the way that you want to attack and the way that you want to play. But but Moody he he had a game himself. No, he, he's got something. I think, you know, just a little bit of teething issues from just timing and his depth. You know, that first uh, that, that that first break where with Valimsa, 
you know, and and, and also again running off uh, Estes and shoulder there when they try to put my pimpy away. Just little little bit of issues, and then also yeah. just on the def- defense. But you know, the re- his recovery is so <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> you know, uh, you just you can't ignore that. You know, in terms of where potentially this could go for him as a player as well at 13, you know, but also that extra, now we know uh, for the box, we've got that uh, potential weapon there that can play at 13, you know, but yeah. equally as good on the wing, you know, it, 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 look, if anything, it makes it difficult for the coaching team because now it's, you know, who do you pick? And based on that performance, it's, it's, it, it is, it is tough, you know, to see, many changes coming in there. Of course, the season guys are going to come in, you know, your Colby's and so forth. But yeah, he, he, he couldn't ask for any more, you know. And and again, that uh, dad, you know, the worms in there, that pack, <laughs> that pack, I mean, if you look at it, you know, physically battered, physically dominated yeah. in the carries, hits off was running over people, marks was running over people, people you know the clean outs that's a, a, as much as i'll say yeah uh, we can say the box defense you know but i think the intensity of the carries you know where guys like so severe were getting run over just put on the floor yes you know maybe completing the tackle but it was they weren't making dominant hits we were making dominant carries and i think that was a major difference in 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 the two teams outside of the defense as well that Allowed the box to capitalize on 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 all Blacks mistakes and forcing them into into mistakes, basically, you know. Yeah, I mean, if you talk about the forwards, Mustard, I thought Mustard really had a game, especially it for did. someone that there there's been a few doubters recently. But I mean, yeah, it recently, goes back yeah, to, have. to yeah, it goes back to him playing lock this time and not playing seven. The, he yeah. had a few lineout steals and he was you know he was working around the place. Eben Elizabeth, huge game, lineout steals, just. Working around the park in general, big game. The lineouts we are, you were lineout steals, scrums we are in yeah. control. We're yeah. going forward. We're going forward, making meters. It is. It is as much as we weren't clinical in some aspects. Again, it's going to seem like we're you know we're nitpicking because of nitpicking, the good things that we yeah. did do. Yeah, yeah. Look, of course, nitpicking because you know you, you want you want that. You know, first visit, first points. You know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, getting in there, but uh, understandably, it's against New Zealand. They're not just going to roll over and allow make it easy for you. You know, you're going to have to fight for it. And you know, the the, the decision by Sia to keep on going for the line and just keep on, mm. just keeping them in that vice grip to say, look, at the end of, uh, you know, who's going to crack? Uh, you know, who, who's going to crack? Who's going to hold the nerve? That control that you saw that the, it's what we spoke about after that Welsh game. You know, is that it just seems like even with him, with him there, there's just that calmness in that pack, that yeah, that focus, that clarity of they know what they or, or, or what they want to do, you know, and they'll keep at it, and, and they're able to adjust because you know the malls, the set wasn't so good in the beginning, you know. That's why, yes, as much as New Zealand infringed, but we weren't able to get to generate sort of momentum there. But it's that, that base, but they were able to adapt in game to fix, yeah to fix that, you know, and they stayed on the right side of the ref at the end of the day. That's if we're going to go to New Zealand, they were ill-disciplined. There's, there's no, there's no way around it. Ill-disciplined. And on top of that, they were flustered. You know, you look at kicks off the side of the boot, uh, taking marks out like that. They were flustered and it's not, it, it wasn't, you'd expect them to be more measured in their approach. They are normally, they know where the line is. They know when mm. to cross the line and when not to cross the line. And it seems like they were just out of control. Yeah, but I mean, if the, the way that the box had them locked in their own half and their own 22, of course, I think the psyche, you know, is damaged. There, I, I don't think they've ever been there before, you know, for especially, you know, starting with a game you, where they just, you just couldn't get out of jail, you know, no matter yeah. what they tried, you know, at the moment it just looked like they're about to break out. So I said, no, you know, and, and that's what it was about. It was just saying, no, not today. Uh, and regardless, they can talk about the red card, yellow cards, whatever they, it's their discipline. And even if they had 15, I believe the box just had, it just had too much, 
on them and they're lucky because they the, the subs that were made after after that try uh, after the second half they're lucky because they, you know easily there you can see 50 you know yeah. easily you can, you can on the night one thing i have to note about you know obviously the patterns i've spoken about it the past few weeks to say the patterns are excellent everyone knows what they're doing that also i think in defense i thought last week we were catching whales out because they were an inexperienced team but this was a very experienced team and we were still mm. catching them out in defense in the same way. I mean, mm. how many times was it man and ball out there in the 13 channel, the intercept yeah. from R and Sir, even at times when it looked like we were the ones in trouble. Yeah, true. That defensive, the defensive pattern and, and that transition play, almost like a Stormers transition play where mm-hmm. it looks like we're in trouble, but you're actually the one that's in trouble. Yeah, yeah. And look, there was times though in the defensive system where you know, like like we say, it's that we dare you to make that that that, that yeah. pass. You know, where they 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 did get that pass out, and you know, like guys like Talia were, you know, he, he was difficult. You know, in terms of the, him. Yeah, he he carrier. would make the meters, but we'd cut him off eventually. Yeah, you know, so just that work rate. You know, the scramble uh, defense on the box. I think that's also something that to note. In, in that regard. But for me, it's more the control and the fact that I don't believe we're at completely full, 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 full tilt. Uh, I, I think they I think they, they, they do have a little bit more from a physical uh, aspect because that's what they'll need to bring to the to 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 Scotland and to Ireland, you know, especially Ireland. And 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 also Tonga, you know, let's not uh I, I, look, look down on the third tier nations because you know, they they can't get it together. You know, if if you get caught on on an off day, but this Bok team, yeah, it's just it's it's scary, and everybody should be scared. And you know, it's okay. You're not always gonna be number one. Uh, that's you know, sometimes somebody else's children must be number one. And I think the box have that golden opportunity to continue on like we said last week you know it's got to be that performance where it says right yeah. we're the world champions if you want this thing you better come take it from us because we're not going to give it to you and i think that's what this game was yeah it was definitely a statement game it's one of those games where to get beaten like that you're quiet on the bus ride home i'm <laughs> sure you know you've, you've got it it's the same thing about how i said wales last week that score line you're heading into a major tournament you've yeah. got no chance yeah. And, and I mean, for the All Blacks, this score line heading into a major uh, tournament, you've got to, uh, it, it starts to, you start to look around. You start to look around at the guy yeah. on your right and your left. And, yeah. you know, maybe we felt a bit stronger last week than we do this week. Uh-huh. And that's, you know, those, those seeds of doubt, you know, it, it can, it yeah. can totally unravel the team. Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, it, it, <laughs> And and that's what pressure does, you know. At the end of the day, you know, and especially now with the World Cup, and uh, I think it's you know, the way it's positioned. You know, it's it's anybody's game, but I think it's really it's the box boxes tournament really to to lose outright. I, if, I agree if, with you there. I agree with you there. But for me, if we look at this team that played in this game. Uh, against the Scotlands, against the Islands in the knockout games. Is this the team that we play? Because that's the only no. uh, that's the only concern that I have is squad selection and match yeah. day selection to say that okay, do we get it right on the day in, in terms of in terms of of picking the right players yeah. to do the job? Because we can do the job. It's just mm. a matter of now picking the right guys to do the job. The right guys. Yeah. Look, and I think from what we saw, uh, you, you, as much as Willem say he had a good, he had a great game, you know, and, and, and I, I still think you still saw the the value of a really sort of almost lacking there in when it comes to execution and some of the opportunities out wide, you know, you can. And see, also, you, sorry, also <clears throat> they were kicking, they were kicking too long, so Willem say had so much time, and that's mm. that, that's something that that wasn't happening. So it's it's also he had a good game. Granted, but it was also a bit of lack of execution from from the All Blacks in kicking too deep all the time. 
Yeah, look, it's what they gave him. You know, and yeah. it's a, again result of result of, result of pressure on the on 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 the kick because there's pressure on the box kick. There's pressure on Muanga. Muanga, look, I, and I think the box got it spot on. You know, the the, the pressure on nine had pressure on ten had pressure on 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 the strike runners really uh, in in uh, Will Jordan and 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 to an extent uh, Bowden Barrett. You know, who I think in recent times in recent years, you know, he hasn't been that guy. Really, for New Zealand, yeah. you know, he's shown that he can get rattled, you know, and I think that's what it was. And then the execution of our kicking strategy, I think, was a bit better, you know. I think with that one, with that one recovery that you made, where Esther hasn't got the ball, I, I liked how, you know, they had placed him there, you know, in anticipation of maybe a New Zealand getting up and knocking the ball back, and he was yeah. there to catch it, you know, and automatically you just on the front foot and I think that 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 it was better kicking from us you better kicking from us and that allowed us uh, allowed the box to to you know to really turn the screw and and they didn't have, they didn't really have an answer you know and I'm not too sure <laughs> well not not necessarily they're not too sure but I think it just shows the frailties in the pack that we have been seeing in a long like it's been the writing has been on the wall they've just been surviving and that's what this game was they really were surviving with you being honest, you know. Sam Kane, you know, I, the I, only, I won't lie. Yeah, I'd say the only time where we where we looked vulnerable, you know, for that try of Will Jordan's that was ruled out was yeah. when they started playing hot potato so that we couldn't uh realign in defense. Yes. So now they're they're throwing those wild passes. And I mean, with the level of skill that they have, it did work. They did score the try, it was disallowed, but yeah. You can't throw those wild passes for 80 minutes. That's not sustainable. That's what I'm thinking. Is that that's not how sustainable is that? It's really that's the, that, because that's that's yeah. the only time we look vulnerable. Is is when they when, yeah. when when they start throwing the ball around like that. The mm. only other team that can do that is France. Yeah, true, true. But I think the trick for the box now is really just, uh, I, I think just recognizing this game for what it was. You know, it was one that they were due to. You know, give a good account of themselves against you, especially against New Zealand. You know, in a way, if you think about it, at the time when the box played them, there was a lot going on in and around the camp with some of the players and whatnot. No excuses, yes. You know, you know, at the end of the day, but you know, this time around, they, this time around, they really didn't have any excuses. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. And 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 they and they and they got the got the result. You know, at the end of the day, a win is a win. You know, it's good momentum, good confidence going into the World Cup. I think they scratch that out, forget about it, and look, look, look at the next one. You know, because from here on now, it's knockouts. Yeah, it's and the Qatar, the Qatar Airways Cup in the bag. Now we we're looking for a gold cup. Now we're looking yeah, for... that better not be a cup the... that's sending us home on Qatar Airways. They must be, you know, <laughs> they, they must be mindful of of, of that. I I just think the, 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 that's really what it, just staying, you know. Just staying focused on 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 the end goal because everybody's gonna now want to come chop their heads off. And look, if we're being honest, you know, we must also expect the unexpected from a refereeing perspective as well, and be yeah. able to handle that, you know, adaptability within there, you know. And I think we've seen that discipline is going to be big, and that may be a big contributor to who's going to. I win. mean, you saw Peter's death. The guy looked distraught with that yellow. It looks like distraught that. with that yellow. I, I like and, yeah. that. I like that. I like that, you know, he cares, you know, and 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 look, it's 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 a bit unlucky, you know, but it's part of the game, you know. All we want is just consistency in the application of the laws, you know. Yes, there's certain things where you know, if you want to, you can find a, a penalty anywhere, you know, especially yeah. in the breakdowns, you know. But I think overall, you can't really complain about the referee. Yes, one or a few decisions where maybe you just like in the scrums where you just like uh, guys, but yeah, you but us. that always happens. Yeah, but it does. You know, it's a lottery. You know, but at the end of the day, uh, the, the guys on the field did just deliver. And I think we've got we've got the guys. You know, we've got the guys. Yeah, man, we Scott Barrett losing his head like he's what's it, Dean Craylin? You know, you, you'd expect <laughs> that kind of thing from a Springbok team. You know, but that's but, that's no longer who we are. But that's frustration. Think about it. You know they're being physically dominated, and you do not. And and uh, dare I say that was a cheap shot because it's like they were being bullied. You know. Yeah. And I was like, how can I get an edge back? And he yeah. saw marks, and he was like, right. 
I've got you now. <laughs> you know, I, I, I really think that yeah, it, really, it was a brain explosion, you know, in terms of the fact that because they were, they were being bullied, you know, and the box must own it, you know, that's how we are. We do dominate, put them in the grinder. The These guys, machine. man, they even had a problem with Mark saying, hey, this guy hit me while I was on the floor. But they even have a problem with that now. They're saying no. they're saying no. It's 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 like play acting. It's almost like diving. Come but on, he wasn't man. acting. He wasn't yeah. acting. We saw everybody saw the everybody saw the footage. It was there. You know, he pointed it out, and it, I I don't think that because he pointed it out. I think the TMOs had already picked it up. You know, uh, and and I think they should be any 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 time wherever a player is on the ground and you know holding their head yeah. and neck area or getting treatment there. They should go you investigate and see, okay, what what's wrong? What happened for that area to be yeah. concerned? You know, is there something that was there? And there was there was something there, you know, legitimately. And he's prone on the floor. Uh, and that's why I say it's a cheap shot because the guy is laying down. You know, it's, it, it is a cheap shot from frustration because they were being bullied. They they didn't have an answer, you know. They they were resorted to their thuggish ways. <laughs> <laughs> thuggish ways. But I think I think that's it. That's it for that game. Can just touch on some other news. You've got some yeah. fly half news. You've got Andre Pollard spotted today in training with the Tigers. Uh full training session again. It's okay. It's just it's one okay. to to keep an eye on to say we don't know. I personally don't know what they have up their sleeves in terms of in terms of of, of Pollard and Arm. But it must be said, even Lebok's performance was understated in a playmaking way yeah but in terms of being a test fly half it was it was just what 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 the doctor ordered yeah uh, he, yeah and the, the other fly half well. the other fly half got something else that the doctor can order elton yankees tested positive hey. for steroids i look this i do not you're not do it's becoming difficult now you know, to <laughs> it's become difficult to 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 defend. <laughs> it it, yeah, it is. It is. It's become difficult to, if it, you know if these allegations are true, which you'd assume they are. You know, they're true, but they're not true. Free Alton Yankees. Free Alton Yankees, guys. <laughs> but they're true, but they're not true. Regardless of free Alton, I come on, I come on. You know, like I, you know what? Yeah, I, you've got to. For me, the only thing that is a bit fishy is in the same way that Chanchi tested positive before a World Cup, the eve of a World Cup, and he was basically trying to get back from injury. You've got the, Elton that's sort of in this sort of the no, same position where he's trying to find the storyline. It's the storyline. Remember, 07 was peace with the lung condition, but okay, they didn't say banned substance, but okay. And then, and then now, then, uh, oh, what, 19, uh, it was Janty, you know, now, now it's Alton, you know, so <laughs> let's yeah. spin it in a positive manner. <laughs> but still, it's inexcusable. It's inexcusable if, if that's the case, you know, it's, yeah. yeah. What do you say? There's nothing you can say at this what point. Do you, well, no, honestly, what what do you say? You know, it's just like, come on, bro. You know, if really this is is, is this you now? Is this what you uh, you want to be known for and not not? You know, like making it hard for you killing you killing us. <laughs> Any closing remarks, Chris? Uh, all I'm saying, uh, box keep the feet firmly on the ground. Um, and yeah, thirty five seven. Uh. It's 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 a commiserations. That's all, that's all we can say. But uh, there's a big job ahead. Uh, honestly, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Um, yeah, it's gonna be tough, but we can do it. <laughs>